Deem these technology allows an individual to publish reviews about themselves on any other sites they want to use. So for instance, if I was had reviews on Airbnb or eBay or Uber, I could take those reviews and publish on other sites that I want to transact in. What this does is to provide a third party, independent, verifiable um, score that um, can build trust amongst the users of that community. What they're finding is that this overall score provides confidence amongst the users uh, in the system, which does several things. It attracts more users to the platform, it encourages more users to inquire uh, about transacting with each other, and ultimately it leads to more transactions. I really believe there is a market for what they have to offer. I was uh, an early investor in a company called Onfido, which does uh, identity verification. And I can see very well that adding a whole social um, scoring system brings an, an added level of assurance to users who want to transact with each other. Uh, the most important word is they're very assured. And by assured, I mean they're very um, confident and uh, careful about what they've been building and what they're doing. I am going to do an experiment with you. I'd like to ask all of you to take out your phone and unlock it. Go on. Unlocked? Hold it up when it's unlocked. Good. And then I'd like to ask you to pass it to the person on your left. Okay, when, when you have a new phone in your hand, I want you to go to photos. Okay, no, don't do that, don't do that. No, 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 okay, you can take back your phone. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> I love this bit. <laughs> but that slight sense of panic that you're feeling right now is exactly the feeling we're trying to eliminate. Because trust is a major barrier when we share things, like our home through Airbnb or our car through Forest Car. And in fact, 69% of people agree with you and say that they worry about taking part in this sharing economy because they don't trust strangers. My name is Sarah, and I'm the CEO of Deemly. I'm here to tell you why we're well on our way to becoming the next global trust tech leader. And we have the evidence to prove it with paying customers around the world. Today, one billion people use sharing economy, on-demand, or peer-to-peer -peer services. And this market is growing 35% a year. So this issue of trust is not getting any smaller. But that's what we're here to change. We've built a software as a service product that helps sharing economy businesses build trust for their community by allowing users to leverage their profiles across different platforms. Our product leverages leading AI image recognition technology, natural language processing, and big data crunching algorithms. We know that people feel safer when they know who they're sharing with. And we know what builds most trust in these types of transactions are what other people are saying about us, essentially our online reputation and credibility. So by using our product, our business customers can minimize fraud, verify their users, and thereby increase activity and transactions by up to 180%. So how do we do this? Once the software has been installed into our customer's platform, all the user needs to do is to sign up and build out their profile through our technology, 
by adding more information from other sites where they're active, maybe their social media accounts, and even their government ID for KYC purposes. And then they'll be ready to share, or swap, or rent, or buy, safely and confidently, and with an increased chance of earning more money or saving more money. New forms of interactions require new solutions. So welcome to the era of Trust 3.0. This is a winner-takes-all market. But why are we the best ones to win this? We've solved some critical product issues that other solutions haven't, because our product is integrated into the user journey and customizable. Our team has deep industry knowledge and are well-connected. But most importantly, our timing is impeccable. There's a movement around the world to give data back into the hands of people. And yes, GDPR is part of this. This is something our data partners understand. With these guys, we can ensure access for more than 400 million people around the world. In addition, our traction shows paying customers across three continents. Over these three months, we've been overwhelmed by the support that we've received and the network that we built here in London. So forget about Brexit, we're definitely staying. <laughs> Throughout Startup Bootcamp, the Startup Bootcamp program, we reached some major milestones, but we also increased some of our key KPIs, such as a 29% increase in our user base. We've closed two major partnerships with other insure tech startups that are focused on the sharing economy, and we've increased our data reach by 33%. So to continue this growth and win the market, Today, we're announcing the opening of our seed round, which will help expand our team and extend our product offering. We know that insurers are very much in the business of building trust, just like us. So today, we're extending an invitation for you insurers to work with us as partners to ensure more trust in the sharing economy, but also to explore other applications of our proposition. In that sense, we're on a shared mission. So if you want to join that mission as a partner or an investor, remember that phone you have? Go to deemly.co right now, sign up to a special demo day mailing list, and we'll reach out to you already tomorrow. We are the next global leader of trust technology. Thank you.